David has stood in the middle of the living room, still sporting the crew cut from his stint in the arm. He was lanky like a robust young tree. Mom, I have something to tell you and Dad. He did not flinch when he said the word game. It was the first time that the word was said among us. Was it me, the African poet, who wrote, in the beginning is the word, in the word is our beginning. Was last night the beginning of my son's new love? Mom, I don't want to live a lie. I want to live in the open, in the light, not hiding in the dark, he said softly. Brave words from a 19-year-old. But I was afraid for him. From the outside, we are tolerant multi-religious, multicultural, multilingual, multi-everything society. But inside, there's a hard curl, like the apricots. We can be most unforgiving. What if the army finds out? He hasn't completed his national service yet. What if the Singapore public service commission finds out, takes away his scholarship, it will break his heart. What if, what if I started to pray? Have I been so blind all these years? No, not blind. Once or twice, it did occur to me, what if? Fleeting thoughts, never pursued. The mind shies away from such thoughts about one's son. No parent wants to think that it can happen to her son. We are close as a family, the three of us, Dan, David and I. When the boys were growing up, we talked during meals, mostly about what they had done or what was wrong with Singapore. Never, never about sex and sexuality. My fault, my fault. No, no, not my fault. Things aren't so simple. No one knows why such things happen. When I woke up this morning, I was surprised at my own calm and recollected state. My world didn't fall apart. David declared that he was still the same David. Nothing has changed more. Only your knowledge. That has changed. Not me. I want you to know about me before I go to the States. So you won't blame the US or the West for corrupting me. I was impressed that he had thought about this. How can you be so sure? I asked him, keeping the edge out of my eyes. I'm sure. His answer had the ring of authority that comes from first-hand knowledge. When? When did you know? What if you change your mind later? I was clutching at straws. Years ago, a student who was a bit of a tomboy had told me that she wanted to undergo a sex change to become a man. But five years later, the girl changed her mind. La 
last night, I hoped, you know, prayed in my heart that David would make the same happy mistake someday. When did you first know? I asked him again. David was silent. Then in a voice that quavered with emotion, he said, about ten or nine. His answer shocked me. He said, why my son was such a neatness freak. Such a good and tidy child. Unlike his elder brother, Dan. I never had to run after David about schoolwork. Was he trying to compensate for his difference at age nine or ten? At that tender age, he was already carrying a heavy burden. You just knew? I asked him again. He looked into the distant past. I saw the tears gathering. I had prayed more. He paused, searching for the words. I asked God, why? Why me? I asked him to take it away. He fell silent again trying to bring his feelings under control. When he looked up, his eyes were sad. I knew God wouldn't take it away when I went to secondary school. But you kept it to yourself. I was incredulous. Images of David as a ten-year-old schoolboy in blue shorts and white shirt, and a thirteen-year-old in white shirt and white trousers floated past my inner eye. Meanwhile, David stood silent before me, as though I had accused him of deceit. And in a quiet voice, he said, I couldn't tell you earlier. I had to be sure first. I hugged him. I wanted to hug away all the years of his lonely struggle. I wished I could. You are my son. Whatever happens to you, you are still my son. I was really Hanging on the wall of our sitting room is a photograph of David at seven. He's leaning against the window, his child's face serious, his mouth vulnerable, and the eyes that looked straight into the camera seemed to ask, who am I? Maybe I'm reading too much into it. My mind crawled the past for signs that I could have missed. Could it be his parents' divorce? No, it couldn't be. I know of one happily married couple with two gay sons. I turned to Dad. My elder son had been quiet all this while. How do you feel then about David being gay? It's okay, what? What's wrong? <laughs> Dan's answer was rough. But there was no mistaking his love for his younger brother. 